I recently did a video called Top Red Flags in a Relationship and I was going to do a follow-up video called How to Know if You're in a Healthy Relationship. Just signs to give you confirmation that your relationship is healthy. So this is what this video is about. So I just wanted to start out by saying thank you to everyone that has supported me. I've had a lot of people reach out to me asking me what camera do I use, what software, editing tips because they're thinking about making a YouTube as well. So I'm happy that I can inspire people to make YouTube and just be that inspiration in other people's lives. And also, this video is a collab with my friend Zoe, and I'll put her channel here. It's linked in the description as well. Her channel is like lifestyle, blogs, and hair. Definitely check her out and subscribe to her channel. One of the first things I would say to know that your relationship is healthy is that you have trust. If your relationship is healthy, your partner is not going to want to do anything to ruin the relationship or hurt you in any type of way. I always say that relationships are built on trust because without trust, there is really no good relationship there. You should be able to trust your partner completely that he or she is not going to do anything to upset you or ultimately ruin the relationship. Another thing I would definitely look for in your relationship to see if it's healthy is if you have freedom of independence. So basically this means you have the space to be yourself in and outside of the relationship. You can do the things you enjoy to do and you can be yourself without your partner judging you in a way. For example, I went natural because that was something I wanted to do for myself. It was an independent statement I made for myself. If I was in a relationship where the person didn't like my hair be natural because they preferred a different style, that's probably showing me it's not really healthy because in a healthy relationship, you should be able to do what you wanna do with your hair and wear the clothes you wanna wear without your partner criticizing you. So another thing to look for if your relationship is healthy or not is if your relationship is moving at a good comfortable pace. So your relationship should be moving at a good speed that is comfortable for each person in the relationship. So basically your partner should not be forcing you or moving the relationship entirely too fast when that's not what you want. In a healthy relationship, there should be communication going on to determine the pace of the relationship so someone doesn't feel like it's moving too fast or the other partner doesn't feel like it's moving too slow, it's not going anywhere. So the pace or speed of the relationship should be comfortable for each person. One person should not feel like it's moving too fast, the other person should not feel like it's moving too slow, it should be, you know, a comfortable pace for each person. In a healthy relationship, you should have respect and kindness. Your partner should respect you for who you are. They should value your beliefs and opinions. They should be very caring and loving. They should not put you down. They should not say mean things to you to lower your confidence. In a healthy relationship, your partner should support you, provide comfort to you, be um, compassionate for you, and very empathetic. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is equal balance or equality. In a healthy relationship, each person should be putting in the same amount of effort. It should feel very balanced. Each person should want the relationship to last and be successful. So therefore, they're going to put in a hundred percent so you should not be putting in a hundred percent and your partner putting in fifty percent there needs to be an equal balance and effort from the both of you so next I wanted to talk about support in a healthy relationship you both should be motivating each other to reach your goals and aspirations your partner or friend whoever it might be should push you or should want to see you successful and reach your goals they should be that motivating force in your life when you accomplish something, they should be the one congratulating you, making sure that you know that they're happy for what you've done. So if they're not supporting you or motivating you, that's a problem because if they're not motivating you to do your best, they might not want you to be successful. 
So support is very important in a healthy relationship. It is definitely a big aspect in any relationship. So next would have to be responsibility. So in a healthy relationship, each person should take responsibility for their actions. They should not blame the other person for something that they've done. And that kind of leads in to the last thing I wanted to talk about, which is healthy conflict. So in any relationship, you're going to have conflict, you're going to have disagreements, it's just inevitable, it's going to happen. But in a healthy relationship, when there's conflict, each person should discuss the issues very respectably, working towards solving them. There should definitely be lots of communication going on to figure out what each person needs to fix. But that is everything I wanted to talk about in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope y'all learned a little bit of something from this video. Please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.